So our first speaker uh, caused the collapse woo, of a multi-million dollar taxpayer funded organization that was under federal investigation for voter fraud registration in 2008. Nobody would listen uh, to people cry out against it. Nobody would investigate ACORN until my daughter, Hannah Giles, went undercover as a prostitute and got them on tape in multiple cities, aiding and abetting home loans for whorehouses and sex trafficking 13-year-old little girls from El Salvador. And since then, ACORN, ACORN has internally collapsed. And you know what? That act from a 20-year-old tiny little girl, you're going to see here in a second, caused that organization, that seedy, nefarious uh, organization that was on Obama's short resume to be defunded $8.5 billion of stimulus money. Y'all give it up for Hannah Giles. Once upon a time, a pirate hooker sailed in with a boy on a giant pirate ship to Baltimore. And they got off the pirate ship and they said, you ready? And he said, I don't know, are you ready? We said, let's do this. And uh, well, long story short, Acorn was caught on TV doing some pretty bad stuff and um, just backed up all their voter fraud allegations. And that's why you guys see me here right now. If you guys, this was, this was my thought process um, when I came up with this idea. If you know what is right, if you know what is pure, and if you can for but a second imagine obtaining that thing, then you have to, with all your heart and all your energy, go after that. Because if you don't, then you'll be tormented by regret the rest of your life. Absolutely. And I love this country, and I don't want to see it, um, the, I don't like the route it's going right now, and I don't think our founding fathers like, would like where it's going. No. No. And, um, the principles of liberty and freedom and prosperity, th those are good things. We deserve those. Our, our forefathers promised our, us that, and they fought. They shed their blood. Our, our soldiers continually shed their blood for us to have those things. And if we don't, if we don't fight here on the home front for that, then we're going to see it go away. We're going to see it disappear, and future generations won't know what it's like to experience freedom. James and I were two people. Uh, we, we'd never met each other ever until a day before we went undercover. We'd been planning the whole thing online. Um, but we had one thing. We did know each other because we had the same vision for what we want in America. We want America that's free and we want our kids to live happy, prosperous lives. And so we went out and we did something. And, and I'm looking at thousands of people here right now. Imagine what each one of you can do. I mean, there is hope. That is, I mean, if you can't see it, then I don't know what, I don't know what else to do. But um, I'm pretty optimistic. I see tea part, been several tea parties uh, past month. And um, it's, it's wonderful and it's an exciting time. And you guys just have at it. Go for it and take back this country. Yeah. pirate ship thing rocks. <laughs> All my friends are in Washington. They're like, Hannah, we miss you. I was like, oh yeah, I get a pirate ship. So, <laughs> so thank you guys very much. Yeah, yeah.